The Model 29M Roll-In Cot is not a one-man stretcher. These cots are designed to aid movement of a patient either by rolling on their own wheels or by transport in the patient compartment of an ambulance. Two attendants are required for safe operation. Both should be thoroughly familiar with controls and operating procedures of the stretcher. Special care should be given when moving the patient into or out of the ambulance on uneven terrain surfaces. If possible, utilize additional trained personnel to safely operate the stretcher. Additional help may also be needed when medical equipment has been applied to the patient, which could obstruct the release handle and the paramedic at the stretcher foot. This is a practical limit consistent with recommended procedures outlined in this tape. If for any reason this limit must be temporarily exceeded, additional attendance should be used to support the excess weight. The 29N roll-in cot has polish strips on the undercarriage to prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact with the bumper when rolling in or out of the vehicle. These poly strips can be the first clue to overabusive use of the 29M roll-in cot. It should be noted these strips should slide smoothly over metal. Their service life and the stretcher's safe functional life is reduced greatly when they are used as shock absorbers and the cot is slammed into the rear of the ambulance or jerked out. Always use two attendants. When the stretcher is forced into or out of the unit, permanent damage may occur to the stretcher. When dropping the head section of the stretcher to decrease your stretcher size for greater mobility, avoid slicing the sleeve hinge lock into razor cutting edges. This can be done by sliding the sleeve back completely against the stop collar and then folding the headpiece. When raising, slide the sleeve against the spring to the stop collar, raise the head, then manually slide the sleeve into the locking position. Proper preventive maintenance should be performed daily on your stretcher. Make sure the stretcher is clean, keep the stretcher lubricated, check all stretcher functions including into the vehicle, out of the vehicle, all stretcher heights, wheel casters, loose bolts or allen screws. Avoid embarrassing or hazardous situations. Cleaning and lubrication should be performed as needed on your stretcher. Clean your stretcher with soap and water and dry thoroughly. After the stretcher is thoroughly dry, lubricate with white lube. Note areas of high importance. Do not mix lubricants such as graphites and white lube. The mixing of these two products will gum up the working mechanisms of your stretcher. Every three months when your EMS unit is due a PM inspection at motor maintenance, your unit will be called to station three for a PM inspection to be performed on your stretcher.